over a weed. Body camera footage obtained by the Intercept shows a Staten Island police officer apparently planting marijuana in a car during a traffic stop. The incident comes just a few weeks after a similar one, originally reported by the New York Times, in which the same cop was again caught by his body camera in the apparent act of planting marijuana in a car. Yo, he put something in my car, yo! Alright, this was in the back seat on the floor. So marijuana cigarette, it's wet. In the more recent incident, two officers pulled over passenger Jason Serrano and a friend for a broken taillight. As the officers approached the car and the driver rolled down the window, the officers claimed the car smelled like weed and ordered both people out of the car. The car smells like marijuana, so we're going to check it, all right? Okay, and then we'll I fix it. There's nothing in the car, you'll be good to go, all right? Serrano was recovering from abdominal surgery after being stabbed. He lifts his shirt to reveal his wound to one of the officers. I don't want to see that right now, okay? I can get out. I can okay. barely move, bro. Once out of the car, the officers demand to search Serrano's jacket, and he refuses. There's there's nothing, give me the no, jacket. There's nothing in my jacket. I'm not getting my searched man. for no reason. My man. As Serrano grows agitated, the officers become more aggressive. Come on, relax. 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 Yo, yo, yo. Relax, yo, yo, relax, yo, yo, relax, yo, yo, relax, yo, yo, relax, relax. Yo. They grab him, push him to the ground, and handcuff him. Take now. Take him down, take him down. Why, yo? Relax, relax. Serrano remains on the ground, handcuffed and in visible pain for the rest of the traffic stop oh, until an ambulance arrives to take him to the hospital. Can someone call an ambulance though? Like, is that like a good? The two officers, Kyle Erickson and Elmer Pastran, begin searching the car and Serrano's jacket. Officer Erickson tells Pastran that they need to find evidence. I'm searching the car. Yeah, we gotta find something. Officer Erickson begins searching the car. He searches the passenger side area first. When he finds nothing, he can be heard murmuring an expletive. Erickson returns to Pastran to ask. He returns to the passenger side and searches through Serrano's jacket, the cup holder, and the center console. As he continues searching the rest of the car, the driver approaches. I can watch him search my car. Because, like, what is he doing? Man, stand back. Why? What are you doing? Erickson looks back at Pastron, visibly agitated. See nothing. Sorry. You know what I mean? Yeah. After several minutes searching the car, Erickson again admits that he hasn't found anything. Nothing? I don't see anything. Yeah. You said it's a truck? I'll get it for you. Fifteen seconds later, Erickson returns to the front seat cup holder and sets something down. It's a little bit of weed. It's a little bit of weed. Erickson continues searching through the center console, where he's already looked. A minute or so later, he again sounds agitated. Uh -uh. Erickson shakes his head as he continues fiddling through Serrano's jacket, just out of the camera's view. A couple minutes later, the two officers say they found wheat flakes in Serrano's jacket. Flakes everywhere, though. Yeah, no, he had weed. You can see his weed here. At the end of the search, Erickson turns to Pastrana. You good? You good? The officers then fist bump each other. The few words exchanged between the two officers during the search are almost identical to those they exchanged during the search just a few weeks earlier. Yeah. On that occasion, too, the search had ended with Erickson asking Pastrana. Okay. 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 An ambulance finally arrives to pick up Serrano. He spends the next five days handcuffed in a hospital room, waiting for his abdominal wound to close. Serrano took a plea deal to avoid jail time and didn't learn of this body cam's footage existence until after he pleaded guilty. The video, which didn't emerge for nearly two years, underscores the limited information available, not just to the public, but also defendants, and validates criticism by police accountability advocates that body cameras are of little use if the evidence they capture remains inaccessible. The NYPD declined to comment on this incident. Erickson and Pastran remain on patrol. There's nothing to say. The, the video speaks for itself. I ain't have no marijuana. I ain't have no weed. I ain't have no drugs. 
I wasn't driving, wasn't my car. The tail light wasn't broke. They had no reason to. At all. Besides harassment. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. This is the brother Ma'ad Kadar. Ah, from the Great Millstone Camp here in Cleveland. Uh, back with another lesson. Uh, Lord willing, it's edifying first and foremost. I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. Uh, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth and blessings and respect to you, Akim. It's pushing this word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth, putting your freedom and lives at risk. Uh, to you, I say Shalom. All right. And um, yeah, we're going to get straight into the scriptures, man, all right? Because, you know, once again, man, you know, an Israelite, I believe he was from the tribe of Ephraim, being targeted, man, by Esau, man. All right? And this is Psalms uh, 10 and 8. It says, he sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. All right. And that's in a low poverty neighborhoods or anywhere that, you know, Jake is known to shop. All right. Or roam. All right. It says he sitteth in the lurking places of the villages and secret places. Do we murder the innocent, man? And that's why you always seeing, you know, a, a officer, a Edomite officer or a heathen officer, you know, always gunning down Jake, man. All right. And um, it says. And once again, this is part of the curses, man. All right. And it says. And in secret places, do we murder the innocent? His eyes are privily set against the poor, man. All right. His eyes are privily set against the poor, man, which means when Esau's patrolling the street, man, his eyes are, uh, are looking upon Jake, man. You know, that's why he, you know, he drives around the low poverty neighborhood, man. All right. And um, he sits. On, on, on the side of the freeway, freeway, the freeway, you know, the Israelites are known to hop on. All right. He don't go to the Edomite neighborhood and harass them, man. He he harassing Jake, man. All right. Verse nine, it says he lieth in wait and secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth in wait to catch the poor. All right. And that's why I, I remember like a couple of uh, months ago, it was an article out on uh, the New Jersey police officers, man. They were told to go out there and uh, um, get, you know, blacks, so-called blacks and Latinos and Hispanics, man. All right. And they had to meet a quota. And every time they met that quota, they would get, you know, bonuses, man. All right. This is your uh, uh, agenda of your local police officers who's supposed to, you know, protect and serve, man. All right. And it says, um, he lieth and wait to catch the poor. He doeth catch the poor. When he draweth him into his net, man, you know, hey, man, you know, it's always a snare or a trap for Jake, man. All right. They go to the neighborhoods, you know, they harass, you know, you know, people who, you know, using drugs and, you know, uh, uh, gives them, you know, money to, you know, set up, you know, other Israelites, man. All right. They, they, they get shipments of drugs and, you know, shipments of, uh, uh, shipments of drugs and shipments of guns, man. And they put them right in the, in the, in the low poverty neighborhoods, in the ghettos, man. All right. Which, hey, a ghetto means uh, in the corner. All right. And that's why, you know, they push the minorities, which means insignificant. All right. They push what's insignificant into a corner, man. All right. And they put guns and drugs in those neighborhoods, man. And then here you go. They set up police officers to patrol the neighborhood for violence and for uh, uh, trafficking, man. Drug trafficking. All right. He's a damn devil, man. All right. Verse 10. It says he croucheth and humbleth himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. He have said in his heart, Yahweh have forgotten. He hideth of his face. He will never see it, man. I guarantee you those police officers. All right. You know, they thought that they could get away with that, man. And ain't no telling how many other situations. All right. They have, you know, did that uh, on, man. When they plant drugs in people's car, man. You know, it's, it's, it's just, you know, it's just wicked, man. All right. And Yahweh by Shimei Shah, man, is going to judge Esau, man. These Edomites that's uh, um, uh, falsely accusing Jake 
And that goes back into the word devil, man. All right, when you go into that word devil, man, so damn false accuser, man. This is uh, uh, Esau himself, man. Hey, and, and how about Shimei is going to, he's going to, uh, he's going to judge uh, Esau for all this, all these uh, uh, wicked deeds that he's doing, man. All right, this is uh, Romans 2 and 1, therefore thou art inexcusable, oh man. All right, so Esau, you're not going to be excused for these type of actions, man. You're not going to be excused at all, man. It says, whosoever thou art that judges, for when in thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself. For thou that judges doeth the same things, man. You see these uh, Edomite police officers all the time, you know, speeding down the damn street, not stopping at the stop sign, man. Not stopping at a red light, running red lights, man. Using their uh, uh, sirens for uh, non-emergency uh, for non -emergency, uh, uh, occasions, man. All right? You know? But then they'll turn around and pull you over, you know, for, 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 for driving, you know, a of uh over a certain uh, amount of speed man all right but they do it they damn self man on the freeway doing 100 miles per hour man all right and it says hey and they call it oh they can do that because uh uh, uh they're above the law man they're sovereign citizens man all right but how about shimmy our shah is going to be the one that judge you man all right verse two it says but we are sure that the judgment of yahweh is according to the truth against them which commit commit such things and thinkest thou this, O man, that judges them which doeth the same things, and doest them the same, that thou shalt escape the judgment of Yahweh? No, man. All right? You're not going to escape the judgment of Yahweh, man, because, hey, man, hey, man, the Israelites is the apple of the Lord's eye, man. You have to pay for everything that you're doing to an Israelite, man. Yes, we under curses. All right? Yes, the Lord put curses upon us. But, hey, guess what, man? Yahabah Shimei Al-Shah is going to judge you still, man. All right? So, hey, man, you know, I hope this was edifying. And uh, with that, I want to say Shalom and on to the next.